hot as a, yeah, it's hot, let me tell you. And I'm out here looking at my Jeep 4.0 and we're gonna do a tune up today. I'm gonna get my assistant Ethan to start it up and you can see how poorly it is running. It's actually gotten to the point where it doesn't wanna start sometimes, it's running really rough. Uh, I checked out the distributor and grounded out some of the wires and it acted like uh, it wasn't firing on some of the cylinders. So first thing to do is do a tune up because I have never done one on them since I've owned it. And it's about time to see if we can get this thing running right again. Go ahead, Vern. That's bad. All right, so plugs, cap, rotor, new wires. We're going to see if we can get this thing running well again. So I went to AutoZone to get my parts. I went to O'Reilly's first. They didn't have crap. Uh, he said, well, I'll have to order all that. So I went to AutoZone. They had most of the parts. Uh, went to get a set of wires. He says, we don't stock them. And I said, really? You don't have a set of wires for a 4.0 Jeep? I said, look up a 95 Wrangler. They did have wires for that. He goes, well, that won't fit it because this is for a Wrangler and this is a Cherokee you want wires for. And I said, it's the same motor. So we'll see if there's any difference on the wires. I don't know. That's insane. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and start pulling the plugs out, take a look at them, and hopefully that's what's wrong with this stinking thing. Yeah, they're pretty burnt up. So we're going to go ahead and replace these, put new wires on, new cap and rotor. Cap is right here. You got two screws. I'll loosen them up. We'll go ahead and put the new cap on. While you're going, just transfer your wires from one to the other. Then you don't have to worry about firing order. We're up to number four. This one in the back is going to be the pain in the butt for sure. All right, got all the new plugs in. It wasn't really that bad. You can kind of slide down through here with a large extension, get that back one. Got new wires installed, new cap. The rotor, they gave me the wrong one. That's a shock from AutoZone. Uh, I didn't look it up before I went down there, and that's my fault because they can't ever give you the right parts. I uh, got the new coil wire hooked up, so we're going to start it up and see if it made any difference. Sometimes it does. better. It seems to be running a little bit better. We're going to take it for a test drive. It's still got a little bit of a mess. It feels like um, maybe injector or um, I don't know. We were getting a check engine light random misfire and that's not happening anymore. It feels like it's running better and it may just need to be cleaned out so we'll see. We'll get it for a little ride here. Well, it runs like a scalded dog for the most part. Um, when we first started out, it was idling and it died a couple times. And I don't know, maybe there's some crap down in the cylinder. This is all wishful thinking for sure. Um, it's running actually pretty dang good. All right, I just wanted to insert in the video here a little tip too. Uh, when you're doing this, go ahead and hook your battery. Let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes. Make sure it's good and dead uh, as far as like the computer goes. And then hook it back up. And what that will do is force the computer to uh, reboot everything. Because if it's got all kinds of error codes and it's been misfiring, sometimes that can still cause a, a problem running. And when I did that, it actually really did help a little bit as far as the audio goes. So I don't know, we're going to drive it for a little bit to see what happens. It could be engine issues, valve issues, injector issues. It could be a lot of different things that are causing issues with the truck. Being an OBD1 system, you can't really do a lot of diagnosis on it. But we're going to drive it, maybe put some seafoam in it if it's the injectors and, and go from there. It's too difficult for them to stop and get windshield washer fluid, but the check engine light it's not coming on and it was before and it was saying random misfire or cylinder misfire something like that well it seems to be running a lot better i mean you know it's got almost 200,000 miles on it but uh that seemed to help with the misfires especially starting it up it was almost flooding out a little bit when it started up we're gonna throw some sea foam in it i'm gonna roll the dice and see what happens uh running a lot better there isn't a car that's much easier to put plugs and wires and caps and rotors in when you're changing your wires out and your cap, just transfer one at a time and you don't really have to think about firing orders or anything like that, right? Um, she's running. I'm going to wait to see 
got millennials driving this thing, so it's kind of hard for me to get a good report on is it missing an idle or because they have no clue. There is absolutely no clue at all of how the truck is running. If it starts, they drive it. If it doesn't start, then they go, there's something wrong with the truck. And that's about the amount of uh, information I get. So anyway, that was 30 minutes. Put new plugs in, new cap, new rotor. Well, new not a new rotor, but new cap. Uh, wires, pretty quick. 4.0, baby. We'll see how she does. I'm David from the Red Dick Garage. Key!